Hi Pisces, this is a general love reading for March 2021 for your Sun, Moon, Rising, and your Venus signs. It is going to be general, so it might not resonate for all of you. But you can check out one of your other signs or one of your person's other signs. All right, also, the roles can be reversed. Always keep that in mind. And happy birthday. Happy birthday to those of you who have who've had a birthday or have upcoming birthdays. All right, so let's see for Pisces. First half of March, what is going on? And if you want a personal reading for it to be more specific to your situation, all that information is in the description box. All right, we have ascending and we have conclusion. All right, so, wow. Uh, Feels like there have been things in your life possibly that needed to be closed out. I feel like that closing out was, um, it was an energy that was waiting for you to ascend. Like you needed to really understand certain things and to begin an awakening or just ascending further in order to be, um, in order to close out those issues or those um, cycles. And I feel like, yeah, definitely something is being closed out here. All right, as you, as you ascend. So this could be for you, it could be for your person. Let's see. I mostly feel like it's you though. But it could be your person as well. Roles can be reversed anyway. All right, let's see. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. First half of March. 2021. All right, so for you, we have the Five of Cups. All right, interesting. This was the very first card out for Scorpio as well. All right, the Page of Cups <clears throat> and the Star. All right, okay, so there, okay, good, because I got a little worried here with that Five of Cups starting off the reading, um, but we do have the star at the end of the row here, so, all right, I feel like there's a lot of healing. This is, um, I do get this energy of ascending, so it, this could definitely be you, and it's like you are coming out of a situation or of a, <clears throat> an emotional state where you were possibly very depressed. All right, um, because we also have the Page of Cups here, so I'm seeing this as your emotions just not being at their highest, all right? And I feel like whatever caused that for you, this is something that you are now beginning to come out of and move towards healing, which is helping you also to ascend. So let's see what's going on with your person here. We have the Fool, the Five of Wands, and the Six of Cups. All right, so there's something that this person is thinking about doing, uh, maybe possibly t taking a new direction in life, either taking a risk or <clears throat> jumping into the unknown, doing something differently than before. However, whatever that is, I feel like it is conflicting them a little bit. And this is in some way related to you. I feel like this is a very um, deep connection, a spiritual connection. Um, there's a very strong bond and a tie between the two of you. So we'll see when we clarify, but I feel like initially the way this is coming through is that this person might be thinking about walking in a different, in a different direction, but that conflicts them because of the strong bond that they feel with you. All right, let's see what is in the potential future here. We have the Six of Pentacles, the Ten of Pentacles, and Judgment. All right, there's that Ascension again. Interesting. Definitely moving into a place of balance and steadiness. Something like stability is coming in that's going to feel very, very balanced for you and it's going to be associated with that ascension, okay? But we'll get more information when we, when we clarify. Let's see. <clears throat> so 
So let's clarify that Five of Cups. All right, we have the Page of Pentacles as well as the Two of Pentacles. All right. I feel like you you have undergone a lot of a lot of learning here with the Page of Pentacles. I feel like also there is there was something in this <clears throat> in this situation that you experienced that caused you to really lose your balance here. And I feel like not only that, it, it you didn't just lose your balance, but you may have lost your, your way, like your path. Like you might have even felt off, like you were just moving in the wrong path. And I feel like that shook you up, but it threw you in some kind of a, um, a depression. feels very similar to Scorpio, so I'm wondering if some of you might have Scorpio in your charts, <clears throat> maybe dealing with a Scorpio, um, but I also see Aquarius, I see Aries, obviously it could be any sign, I just call out the ones that stand out to me the most. Let's see the Page of Cups. Ooh, the Fool in the Tower. All right, definitely. Okay, so whatever this situation was, you you are coming out of that. You are coming out of that in a in a difficult way. <laughs> All right, not gonna lie. I feel like it's a difficult way, but but really, what happened was this situation. You feeling like you were on the wrong path, or that you had taken a wrong turn, for example, or just something. Something was just off. That created a tower for you especially emotionally, but because of that tower, it caused you to change directions. Like there is something, or this is in the process of happening, that tower is causing you to be now in this fool's energy, right? Which we also have for your person here. It's causing you to, to change directions. And I feel really what this is, is leading you to the start. It's leading you back on your path. You are getting back on your path. You are getting back on the right track. All right, and this is also bringing a lot of healing, and this could possibly be what is also bringing conclusions. All right, I feel like once you changed your path, or once you change your path, all right, because this is current energy, that is going to align you. That is going to help you to ascend, which in turn is bringing conclusions to anything that needs to be concluded. It doesn't necessarily have to be this relationship, although it definitely could be for some of you, but whatever needs to be closed out is going to be closed out and it's going to be for your highest good. And it's going to be actually even something I feel that on a deep level is what you want. Let's clarify the star. All right, we have the seven of wands and we have the four of swords. So a lot of healing, especially when it comes to um, setting your boundaries with others, you know, figuring out what it is that you want, being able to stand up for yourself and feeling okay with setting boundaries with people in your life that may have been contributing to you being in this um, negative energy here, to that depression. All right, you are, you are getting so back on that track, on that track, and I feel like you're you don't care like who gets in your way, you're just gonna push them out of your way because this healing that you're undergoing, that ascension is just really taking over. All right, so let's see this other person here, let's clarify the pool. It's interesting because you have like similar energies. So the Fool now is being clarified by the Five of Cups, which was in your energy, as well as the Sun. Okay, so whoever this is that you're dealing with here, this is somebody who is also taking a leap of faith or changing directions to move away from that Five of Cups towards the Sun, towards their happiness. I feel like this person may have been going through something similar with you, um, so there could be some mirroring here. So this person may have also been feeling depressed or just pessimistic about something in their life that is in relation to this connection or just 
even separately. But what they're doing is they're taking a leap out of that depression or even maybe leaping away from something that they've been holding on to from the past in order to move towards the sun, to move towards their happiness and their fulfillment. All right, so I feel like actually that ascending and that conclusion is, actually goes for the both of you, just possibly in different ways. All right. Let's see, <clears throat> let's see the five of wands. Because I do see this person being a little conflicted though. Five of Wands again. And the Eight of Cups. Okay, so this is somebody okay who wants to come out of this depression, all right? They're taking steps to jump out of that. <clears throat> but I feel like they're moving in a direction where they feel like it would bring them happiness on the one hand, but it conflicts them because for whatever reason, I feel like, like they don't really want to move away from that. Because I feel like that has to do with you, actually. All right, so it feels like... It feels like this person, on the one hand, feels like moving away from the connection would move them towards happiness. Not happiness. Um, they, it's almost like they feel like maybe that's what they should do. But it's what I said in the beginning, but they're conflicted about doing so. Like, it's like they're turning their back almost, but in a very um, regretful way. Like, they don't want to. All right, that's what I'm getting here with the Five of Wands and the Eight of Cups. Almost like they know what would bring them happiness, and I feel like that actually would be you. So it's slightly different message than what I said before. So actually, I take that back. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I don't feel like they're moving towards that happiness so much. They want to, they want that happiness, that's what they want to move towards, but I actually feel like they're kind of turning their back, actually, to that happiness. Maybe they're waiting on you. Maybe because of what you were going through, um, they felt like, like it's over, for example. Um, but that's what I'm getting for whatever reason. They want to move towards happiness, but they feel like they have to move away from it. And they're doing it very reluctantly because they feel such a strong connection with you. All right, let's clarify the Six of Cups. The Seven of Pentacles. All right, yeah, so you know what? This sun, actually, it could be that... Ultimately, because they are reluctantly turning their back to you, they will actually be called to move towards this happiness. All right. Um, because I see them wanting this reconciliation. So I feel like something else needs to resolve here. Some other conclusion needs to happen. And honestly, I feel like it's mostly, mostly on, your, on your side here. All right, for a lot of you, not all of you, but for a lot of you, it's on your side that that conclusion needs to happen. That regardless, though, this person does want a reconciliation here. All right, and this is something that they are thinking about and would want to work out, but I almost get the sense that this person feels like they have been waiting for something to work out here. Again, don't forget the roles can be reversed. Let me see what is coming up. In the potential future here, let's see the Six of Pentacles, we have the Emperor. A lot of balance. I feel like either way, you're both taking control over your life. I feel like actually this is mostly you, to be honest, because I see you being the one that is um, just more on that path. So I feel like you are really standing strong as the Emperor here and bringing things into balance in your life when it comes to that ascension and to that healing. And ultimately that is bringing you to a very um, a stable place. Let me see the Ten of Pentacles. The Three of Swords. So it's bringing you to a very stable place. 
but that doesn't come without some some pain and I feel like you've been through a lot of pain already and just that the um, road to that healing can also be painful. So what I'm mostly getting here is that even regardless of the pain that you may have felt, you're still reaching that end goal here, all right, with the Ten of Pentacles. You're still reaching that stability and just achieving your goals overall. To be honest, I, I, I'm going to get one more because I kind of feel like this um, is also in relation to, to the other person here. One more, please, for the Ten of Pentacles. And we have the Four of Cups. Yeah, alright, so this is, when it comes to this person here, again, I feel like they have been waiting for something possibly from you, okay? Um, they may have felt ignored and kind of like they have this, this pain attached to not having this commitment with you. Either way, this is this is being healed, all right? Because we have judgment following that. So it's just that finding that stability can oftentimes be a little bit um, painful getting there. Okay, that's the message here for you. Let me see judgment because this does talk about a reconciliation and awakening. There you go, the Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, see, so. <laughs> It's like that heartbreak that is attached to not having that Ten of Pentacles, there's going to be a second opportunity for that. There's going to be a second opportunity for that. Um, and I feel like it's going to be very much associated with the Ascending. And that's for the both of you. So that is definitely in the potential here. And it's like the more you move towards that, that healing and finding your balance, the more that this stability is coming in and that second opportunity for something um, very, very secure, a commitment, even if the path getting there can be a little bit painful. All right. So for your final message, we have view from above. Get the big picture. Yeah, so you know, you could get lost in all of this, all right? The ascension process is not an easy one and it's easy to sometimes lose sight of that. Like I said, you, if, I feel like you may have gotten on the wrong path in the beginning, but getting the big picture, seeing the overview from above, everything then makes sense. Why things are playing out in a certain way, especially when it comes to reaching this, um, reaching this awakening here, all right? And this stability you will understand why there was pain attached to it, all right, once you are able to remove yourself from the situation and view it from above. All right, Pisces, those were your messages. Um, please give me a, a like if this made sense for you, if it resonated, and much love.